Keisha, Andrew, and our cousin Chris. We are on our way to Imagine That. Can't which forget. Is in... Please. Yes. Say yeah. hi. <laughs> Imagine That is one of Blake's favorite place to go. It's like a children's museum. They have so much fun things to see and play with. You guys are going to see in a second. So we're about to head on in right now. See you soon. <laughs>
leaving. Blake has wore us out. Look at him. Blake. 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 Blake, where are you going with the toys? Where are you going? Huh? Blake, say bye. Blake, look, say bye. Say bye. Blake, say bye. Say bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> Wait, you had fun? Rock. You had fun? Rock. Rocks? Huh? Rocks? You had fun? Long as I ain't got class going at you. You had fun? You want to go again? Eh? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, if you got all the way to the end of this video, thank you for sticking with us. This is our first video um, on YouTube. So uh, we're just going to do a little recap about going to Imagine That with our son. So um, Imagine That is in East Hanover mm -hmm. or something like that. It's down Route 10. Um, and uh, what do you like most about Imagine That? The part I like the most is like the jungle gym area. Oh yeah. Blake really slide. likes that. Did y'all see me trying to come up that slide? I fast forwarded through that actually, so they didn't really see that part. That, but they did see you guys come down. Man, trying to do that with your cell phone, it ain't happening. I think what I like the most is that they kind of have everything for everybody. Like they have a lot of dolls and like a little nursery area. You know, you got all the um, cribs and stuff for the, Blake for the little did, dolls. Like the fire suit thing. Oh yeah, and they have a fire truck with um, a fire fire outfit and they even have like a pirate ship with a pirate outfit and pirate hats with and swords yeah you know kind of like your walk you on the plank get a chance to do the painting yeah they do have an art and crafts area so that that's a cute little part too they also have um we get to show you guys but they have like a snack stand they have pizza churros cupcakes snacks all that stuff but the um, pizza was like almost forty dollars there? Um, yeah, I'm about to. Um, I mean, what if it's good? It ain't worth it. Ain't no piece of that good. That I mean, forty dollars. He didn't taste it, so we can't say whether it was good or not. And but, I won't. but they, the point is, they have a snack stand there, so you don't have to worry about, you know, running out to get food if you guys didn't eat before, don't have plans to do it after. Uh, they do have toys there for sale too. Um, oh yeah, yeah. But yo, Blake grabbed like four trucks. You guys saw that, right? Blake put would it, not let go of the put trucks. Put it all in his hand and then started just walking out the store. Out the door. Totally out the door. Um, and the pricing is not that bad. How much was it for a child to come? I don't know. I think I it was like $7. Six, $16, I think. Oh. Um, yeah. Eh. We didn't have to pay because we went on a... Oh yeah, they have a special um, January 2020. All adults are free on Wednesdays. So we went on Wednesday and we just paid for our son to go. But um, I think it's worth it. You know, the kids literally can imagine a whole bunch of stuff. They can be a firefighter or a pirate. They, they have a music room. You guys saw that. They have toy trucks everywhere. They even have a sandbox. They have uh, an area where you can have a puppet play. You know, stuff with the hands. They have a little ballet area with the uh, mirror that's, you know, top to bottom. And a little pole. It's, it's so cute. The whole place is just so cute. The, the grocery shopping, you know. But um, yeah, we just want to share with you all one of our favorite places to go with our son and we recommend it for any family. Um, any new family, you know. Peace. Bye.